For the third time, a developer has been chosen for a huge new project in Concord. City Council has selected Brookfield Properties to transform, uh, transform the old Naval Weapon Station into a new residential community. The two previous tries led nowhere, and John Ramos explains why things are moving so slowly. Concord has something that most cities would die for, thousands and thousands of acres of open land to build houses on. But city leaders say you probably shouldn't expect this land to be any help in this housing crisis. It's probably fitting that video from Saturday's meeting should be mostly frozen with lots of starts and stops. It's a perfect description of how the process has gone so far in choosing a master developer to convert the old Concord Naval Weapons Station into a mixed-use community. So when they took a final vote, it felt like deja vu all over again. Vice Mayor Bersan? Yes. Mayor Hoffmeister? Yes, and that passes unanimously. The council chose New York-based Brookfield Properties to create the master plan for the development. Mayor Laura Hoffmeister says it will be a monumental task to turn 2,300 acres of open land into tens of thousands of homes, as well as schools, stores, businesses, and restaurants. It's literally like creating a new city from scratch. We've probably seen 12 different proposals, uh, and I thought Brookfield's was one of the stronger ones, or the strongest one, based upon looking at all of the others over time. This is the third time the council has picked a developer. The first one quit, and the second was dumped. Brookfield had been in the running before, but last summer, after they weren't chosen, they abruptly quit another project to build homes at the nearby North Concord BART station. At the time, council member Eddie Bersan said, good riddance. Uh, it was no surprise to me that after, uh, uh, after a while, since they didn't get the, the, the Naval Weapons Station, that they would just hang out Bart and just walk away, and that's exactly what they did. But this time, Brookfield was the only developer to even apply for the project, so the vote was unanimous. Now they're crossing their fingers and hoping the third time will be the charm. But Hoffmeister warns that even if all goes well, it will be years before anything is built. First, there is planning and permitting and creation of virtually all infrastructure, roads, sewer, water, and power lines. So that's going to take another few years. So you're really talking five to seven years down the road before you start to see any vertical construction start. Hoffmeister believes that is why many developers aren't interested in the project. It exists on such a long timeline that they may not want to wait for the payoff at the end of it. That's also why she says the development won't be of much help to our current housing shortage. You know, housing is still probably going to be an issue 40 to 50 years from now, as it was in the 70s and the 80s when we had a housing crisis. So we're back on this cycle again, and yes, it will help us out uh, when we get to that, that point. But with so many people living in tents right now, the frustration is growing over Concord's willingness to wait. The desire to get everything just right may be preventing them from doing anything at all. Concord, by the way, is requiring the Navy to clean up any toxic soil on the property, and so that is going to add to the time and how and expense of purchasing the land from the military.